Beyond economic cooperation, Singapore and Malaysia have a shared cultural heritage that should be celebrated and renewed by the next generation, said President Thaman Shanmugaram. At a state banquet he hosted for Malaysia's King, Sultan Ibrahim Iskandar, on Monday, May 6, President Thaman said the two countries can jointly raise relations to the next level of cooperation and friendship with the King's strong support and leadership. The King is in Singapore for a two-day state visit with his wife, Queen Roger Zarif Sophia, till May 7. The state visit is one of the last major visits before Singapore's leadership transition on May 15. When Prime Minister Lee Shin Long will hand over his position to Deputy Prime Minister Lawrence Wong. In his toast speech at the Astana, President Thaman noted how the two countries agreed in 2023 to strengthen cooperation in areas such as trade and investment, as well as in emerging fields such as the green economy and payments. Through the Jiho Singapore Special Economic Zone, both sides are also exploring ways to enhance cross-border connectivity and cooperation in renewable energy for mutual benefit. He said. The King said in his speech that the relationship between Malaysia and Singapore is special as both countries share a common history and culture, as well as close economic ties. He recounted how he had learned much about the affairs of state from founding Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew, whom he knew personally. One of the things he shared with me was the need to be consistent in policy, only through consistency would we be able to get long-term investors. Which is critical for economic growth, said the king. He expressed his thanks to PM Lee, whom he called a close friend of Johor and Malaysia. His dedication and foresight have steered Singapore towards closer cooperation and building a better future. Said the King, who also congratulated DPM Wong on his upcoming succession. In a Facebook post, PM Lee said May 6 was special as it was this day in 2022 that Sultan Ibrahim had conferred on him the title of Dato Sri Paduka Mokota Johor which is Jehor's highest state honour. The two neighbours share a close friendship that is underpinned by historical ties and strong relationships between our governments and businesses. He added. Earlier in the day, the king called on Mr Thaman following a welcome ceremony at the Astana. He also met PM Lee, who hosted him to lunch. On May 7, DPM Wong will call on the king and host him for breakfast. The king will then visit Parliament House, where he will observe parliamentary proceedings. In the afternoon, he is scheduled to visit the Thompson East Coast Line and be briefed on how the Woodlands North Station connects with the Johor Bahru Singapore Rapid Transit System RTS Link. The king is accompanied on his visit here by Malaysian Transport Minister Anthony Loke, Malaysian High Commissioner to Singapore Osfor Mohamed Mustafa and other senior officials. Prior to the state banquet, Mr Thaman and the King viewed a photo exhibition on the history of the causeway, which will celebrate the centenary of its official opening in June. Both leaders also unveiled the designs for stamps to be jointly issued by Singapore Post and Pass Malaysia to mark the anniversary. They are timely reminders of how this busiest land crossing in the world is not just a physical connection between our two countries, but a symbol of the permanent bonds that exist between us, said Mr. Thaman. Mr. Thaman underscored the importance of both countries maintaining their people-to-people -people ties so that younger Singaporeans and Malaysians grow up with a familiarity and good understanding of each other. When completed in 2026, the RTS link should further boost these relationships, he added. He noted that bonds between Singapore and Malaysia are multifaceted, such as how artists from each side have a loyal following in the other's country. When they are not competing on the sporting field, Singaporeans and Malaysians often root for each other in international tournaments, he added. The mutual search for the most delicious loxa.
Cha Kui Tio and Roti Prata is also an undefeatable manifestation of a shared cultural bond, said Mr. Thaman. Indeed, the claims made by both our peoples over the same dishes. As originating on their side of the causeway, is only a pleasant reminder of our intertwined heritage, he said. As Malaysia prepares to take on the ASEAN Chairmanship in 2025, Mr. Thaman said he is confident that the two countries will continue to work well together to maintain the regional grouping's unity, centrality and relevance. It was a deep honour that Sultan Ibrahim made Singapore his first state visit after he ascended the throne on January 31. And the Republic looks forward to working closely with him to deepen relations between both countries, said Mr. Thaman. As with all neighbours, we do have issues to work through. But we should not let them alter the vitality of our overall relationship, he said. We should continue to find mutually beneficial and sustainable ways to move forward on these issues. While focusing on our many positive and new areas of cooperation.